L'Oreal Miracle Blur. And this is just like a sample size kind of that I got at the drugstore this much. I know it kind of seems like a lot, but in reality it really covers like all my fine lines, especially like here and here. I have a few breakouts as you can see by it to the areas where I have my issues with fine lines and pores. This really does help reduce the look of all of that. And it's a really good primer. So I really, really love this product. It's like a must for me. So I thought I would try a different foundation today. Um, this is one I used to love, but I just found that my skin got really, really dry. So I'm going to use my Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. And instead of dipping my finger in there, I'm just gonna use this small brush by RC Cosmetics. It's just like a dupe for the Sigma brushes. Breakouts, I figured why not go ahead and try this foundation today. So I'm just going to apply some of this product all over my face. And like I said, I'm looking for a fuller coverage foundation today. Um, it is a little bit dark for me, but that's that's okay. We can definitely make this work. I'm just going to blend this in by stippling it on and definitely blend down the neck. But I moisturized pretty heavily today, so I think we can get away with wearing this um, foundation. Now I'm just going to fill my brows in, and I'm just going to spool through the brow and comb it in the direction it needs to be going. I kind of start in the middle to front sections. Um, I know you're not supposed to start in the front section, but that's just where I start. I see that I have a lot of stray hairs right now, but that's all right. I usually pluck my eyebrows at nighttime when I have no makeup on my face at all. I use the Brow Wiz, that's for sure. I really love the Brow Wiz. It just gets in there and gets the job done. Like, voila, done. And then I just kind of spool through the brow again. I just cleaned up my brows a little bit with concealer so that it just looks a little bit better. Um, and then I'm just gonna prime my eye with Max Painterly Paint Pot. My eye? I'm gonna prime both of my eyes using this product. So I'm just going to take it on this brush here and this is again an RC Cosmetics brush. Like I said, it's just a cheaper alternative to um, Sigma. I mean, I can't, honestly, I can't afford Sigma brushes, so why not get some brushes that I'm sure work just as well um, for a cheaper price. I think these were like 20 bucks, so. Yep. So I guess I'm gonna use my Naked 3 palette today. I've been loving it. It just looks flawless when I use it, so why not use it for today's look? So, I really have no idea what I'm gonna do, like I said. So I think I'm gonna start with my crease. So I'm just gonna take Limit and fluff that all into the crease area. I really love this color, it's like amazing. There's a color like it in the BH Party Girl palette. And that's the color I used for my crease for like every single look. And then I'm just going to take Strange and fluff it um, inward because it'll just give you a more flawless look to your blend. The key to a good makeup look is blending. And then I'm going to take Strange again and just use that as my brow bone highlight. It's a really nice color. So I'm going to start with Burnout and place that all over the lid. I may use the copper color trick as well, but we're just gonna start here and see what happens. I am literally in love with these shadows. They're so beautiful. So that's that. I cannot breathe today. Then I'm gonna take um, a little bit, I think I'm gonna mix Buzz and Trick together 
and just kind of blend that in and see what that looks like. You don't want to put too much pink on the eye, but we're going to deepen it up anyway, so. Excuse the chainsaw outside, that would be my husband. Now I'm going to take Factor on my MAC 224, well, and I'm going to focus this on the outer corner and then work it in. So now it has a little bit more depth and um, a little bit more darkness to it. Then I think I'm just going to take um, a mixture of dark side and a mug shot and just dab that in the inner corner of my eye. I really love this palette. Um, like I said, it's just a really, I don't know, it's just a very nice palette to I'm going to refresh the color Burnout right on the lid. Like so, and then, well, just blend everything together so it's nice and seamless. I'm just going to contour. I have a video on this as well. I will link it below. It's very in-depth on how I do it, how I get my contour. Link it below. I go step by step, in-depth, step by step, step by step, in-depth on how I do this. I'm gonna conceal using my MAC. Oh my gosh, so much comes out. My MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm just gonna dab this under the eyes. Ice Cream Man literally comes by every time I film. He's crazy. And then just blend it all out with my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna use my MAC Prep and Prime Pen in Radiant Rose and just click it up a little bit and get to highlighting this face. And then my Beauty Blender just to blend it out. So for under my eyes, I'm gonna use a white setting powder. It's actually White Lies um, from Makeup Geek, but it's like an eyeshadow. But if you use a matte white to set your under eyes, it just makes you, again, look more awake and flawless. Now I'm using my Fit Me. This is a new powder I just got. And so far, so good, I'm loving it. It's the Fit Me Powder 125 Nude Base. How that works, but so far, I really have been enjoying it. I needed a lighter powder because it seems like all the powders I had were from summer, and um, yeah, I'm a pale. I'm so pale and um, those don't work. I'm taking Limit and Burnout and I'm placing that under the eye. And then I'm gonna mix Dark Side and Mug Shot. <sighs> I'm having such shortness of breath lately. Dark Side and Mug Shot and I'm just going to drag that along the outer half of my eye underneath. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay this down. Right there. This is an amazing tool I have found that works great for lashes. So I'm just going to drop that down. And since I'm not wearing any um, liner today, it really has to be very close to my natural lash line. And that's what I love about this little tool is you can take this edge right here and push it down. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use this L'Oreal, I've been using a lot of L'Oreal products in this video, I'm just now realizing. This L'Oreal Quad in Brazen Bold. And I'm gonna use this color right, whoa, right here. It's a pinky color, and it's gonna work really well with the colors on the eye. So I'm just gonna pop that right on the inner corner. This highlight, this highlight color is what I used to use every single time I would highlight my inner corner. A heavy contour, it's just gonna kinda set that 
product right there on the cheek and then we're just gonna take it up right here. It goes so well with the Naked 3. It's just, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's like a rose gold and a little bit of like orange. Oh, it's just, I love it. The Lush brush and load it up. And then I'm just gonna go like this. I honestly love a little bit more blush on my cheeks. It's just so pretty. I love this color. It's, oh my gosh. And it has like a built-in highlight, so you don't even really have to highlight if you don't want to. I do because it's my favorite part. And then I go in with this stippling brush by RC Cosmetics, and I just kind of blend all of that out and together. On my forehead. You can just kind of blend all over the face. Now I'm gonna highlight, and this is my go-to highlighter lately. This one right here. This is called Shape the Future. It's by MAC. It was limited edition skin finish. I'm gonna take some of that on my brush, and I'm just going to highlight my cheekbone area. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Can you see, like, oh. You can, it's so beautiful. And then this side has none. And then we're just gonna highlight the cheekbones. Gives you that nice glow, but the healthy kind of glow, not like she's oily. Isn't that beautiful? That highlight is like my favorite. I love, love, love pink highlights. Gorge. Now for lips, I'm just going to take candy, not candy, we're gonna use that, but we're gonna take cream cup first and just run that on the lips. There went that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of candy yum yum and just kind of do an ombre look. So we're gonna go on the outside like this. After that, I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of cream cup over top. I'm going in with my Kate Pack Reconstructing um, Flat Iron, and I'm just gonna take sections and straighten it. It doesn't matter to me if it is fully straightened or not. I just want it to be, for the most part, straight if there's body and volume in it that's great because i love volumized hair i'm probably gonna tease it anyway so as i brush it forward like this and then i take my nail and i divide that line right there and then i just pull the two sides over so super simple and then it just kind of tossle the side around so i start in the back of the head and then i just kind of tease it I just want a lot of volume in the hair. So really teasing your hair is really, really simple and it adds a lot of volume to the hair. Probably why I get tangles. So you can see the amount of volume that put right in the hair. So now I'll do this side. You'll probably be able to see the volume better on this side since there's a lot more hair to work with. And then just kind of tossle it around. Um, yeah, so this is it. This is how I pretty much get ready every single day. Now I'm going to change my outfit. 